Hello and welcome, my name is Caduceus, and this is a rundown of my Ike solo run. I will be going over the highlights for each chapter. Ike starts off by beating up his dad in a completely fair fight. He gets a terrific level up to start the game. I then send Titani to grab the Seraph robe to use it and then beat up the boss. And he gets another terrific level up. Then he proceeds to beat the second chapter's boss with style, and then gets another good level up, and after that, gets a speed wing that he can use to raise the speed by two points. This is from my rerun, and uh, it's just really strange to me that he would choose to attack even though he's on a heel tile. So, Mike then beats up the pirates in the port, and then proceeds to protect Marsha. I didn't mean to say so many words with the letter P, but, you know, it is what it is. Then Ike defeats the boss of Chapter 3, and then moves on to Chapter 4. Ike defeats a bunch of soldiers, and then goes on to beat up Majin, and show him that his armor is not made out of metal, and it's actually made out of paper mache. And then he turns out to have an amazing 16th level. Then Ike has to defend the fort alone, while everybody hides behind Gaytree and Titania. Ike then makes it through Chapter 6 with minimal difficulties, and takes out a meal with little to no problem. These are his level 20 stats. Overall, not that bad. The only issue is he could have used a little bit more defense. Ike then makes the bad decision of rescuing Shinon, and then he moves on to defeating the sage, Balmer. For a boss fight, he was a bit of a pushover, but it could just be because I'm using a character that is maxed out at level 20. Now things might look bad here, and that's because they are. Ike is defending a fortress all by himself because everybody is too afraid to help him. Rolf is sacrificed for the good of the cause, and Ike fails to protect the villages. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. Ike then fights and finishes Kotov off, and then moves on to chapter 10. Ike made the decision to not hire Volk, even though he could have, and just not used him. And then he decided to just go through the prison chapter sneakily and leave all the prisoners there to rot, I guess. And then send Ike through chapter 11 down through the bottom to grab the Draco shield and up towards the left, towards the top. And then, having no problems at all, make it through the chapter. And then after what is definitely my first attempt at this chapter, I have him defeat the knight and then proceed to arrive. It was definitely not a close call at all. He made it through completely fine. Ike then rescues Jill, the Lagoos hating Wyvern Knight, and then makes Kita hate him by murdering a bunch of birds. Now this chapter is actually a piece of cake. I mean, it's just a defense chapter. All he has to do is go up there and defend. What could possibly go wrong this time? Oh. I guess that's what can go wrong. After what is definitely my first attempt on chapter 13, we successfully make it through and move on to chapter 14. Mike does not bring Marsha, so he has to kill Makalov, and then he goes to defeat the Berserker, and he lets the feral Lagoos survive because, you know, he's not going to anger Peta anymore. Ike brings Mordecai along so he can recruit Stefan, and then he collects all the items in the desert, and then he goes on to defeat Moro. I send Ike up to get the Draco shield from the chest, and then I move him up to defeat Devdin. After that, he goes up and defeats the boss. And this is definitely my only attempt on this one. I have Ike use the elixir, and then I have him fighting the boss and ended up getting an unlucky miss. But Ike is able to pull through, but with the lack of HP, I decided to just move on instead of trying to get any other chests. Seriously though, I did end up having some trouble in this chapter. I had to try two times before I was actually able to make it through. 
the second try was actually pretty ridiculous. I didn't make it very far at all. Now it's time for the best chapter in all of Path of Radiance. He was able to make it through the first few with no problem. All these enemies are pretty basic. Ended up having him go through here, just going straight for the arrive tile. And I was able to get... I kind of wedged into that spot right there and was able to get him through. It ended up being a very good spot for him. He did end up getting poisoned, but he did make it through. Titania had to be sacrificed for the good of the cause. I had to bring other people here to distract them from my guy. I tried it like eight times. Stefan ended up being an amazing dodge tank. He actually ended up making it through the whole chapter. Or battle. I guess this isn't a whole chapter. Ike is actually tucked away in the bottom right corner. I decided to let the birds handle the rest of the fight. And then I believe Tabarn goes over there and finishes all of our off. Yep. He wanted the glory kill. And then I finally make it to Ike's class change. This is where the rest of the game becomes easy mode. Absolutely amazing stat growths. Ike gets revenge on Shinon for abandoning him and the Grail mercenaries. He then gets Wrath from the chest and gets a really good level up. I sacrifice one of the birds to get the Knight's Ring and then Ike has a bonding moment with the boss before he proceeds to whoop his ass. Ike is forced to kill Jill's dad and his last words are not of Jill but of Har for some weird reason. Ike gets put to sleep but survives multiple rounds of combat, no problem at all, and then goes and defeats Ina to claim the capital of Dane. Ike is forced to kill one of the priests because he can't get through, and then he bites the boss, defeats him, but is not able to get the Ashura staff, even though it would not help him in any way. This part was actually my favorite part of the run. Just the thought of the look on the Dane forces' faces, seeing Ike just blow through this place all by himself, breaking through their defenses, falling into pitfall after pitfall, and still just going. Man, it just sounds terrifying. I have Ike grab Savior just because it's there, and then send him over to the arrive tile. Lucia and Bastion die. Not that it really makes a difference. The hardest part in Chapter 25 is that Grommel has Resolve, and he's a Wyvern, so he can just fly away. So I actually had to have him chase him around, and after that, it's a route chapter. This chapter is actually a really big chapter, but there wasn't any real difficulties to it. Alencia is a force deploy, but I just kind of shoved her to the bottom right, and then sent Ike up on his way. He had a few powerful weapons, and then he went on to defeat Al Bertram. That's what he is in this game. And then finish the chapter. In chapter 27, the main goal was to grab the resolve. After that, I defeated the boss, and then moved on to fighting the Black Knight. Ike was actually able to defeat the Black Knight. It wasn't too difficult. I did get some lucky Ether hits. Now that Ike has Ether and Ragnall, there's not really anything in Chapter 28 that stands a chance. The dragons are tough, but Ike pretty much cleans them up with no problem. One of the main challenges of the end game was actually keeping Nasir out of battle. Besides that, um, I chose a Resolve and Wrath combination for Ike, and a bunch of elixirs, not that they actually proved necessary, because Ike pretty much destroyed Ashnard. Ashnard takes some steroids, buffs up, and then comes back after Ike, but at this point Ike is just way stronger than him with that combination, and he still just absolutely destroys him. I did actually get lucky, I mean, not everybody might have that luck.
Well, I hope everybody who watched this enjoyed this. I actually did have a lot of fun with this challenge. It wasn't extremely difficult, and I know this isn't technically the hardest difficulty in the game. I just don't have access to the hardest difficulty. But difficult mode is the highest that I have access to. But, uh, yeah, there were some challenges to it. Uh, but the majority of the game actually was easy, especially after Ike's promotion. Like I said, I hope everybody who watched this enjoyed it. This is the first time I've done a video like this, so I hope it turned out pretty well. If anybody has any comments about how I could have done better or what they liked about it, that would be great to hear. And, you know, I would love to hear if anybody's done this challenge before, or done it on Maniac Mode, or has done a similar challenge before. Or if anybody has any ideas of something they'd like to see me do in the future. But uh, thank you for your time, and I will see you guys in the next one.